Hi, welcome back to part six of my unofficial Great Guitar Build Off 2020 SG Junior build. Um, and in this episode, we're going to fit the body and the neck together. Right, on to what is probably the most important part of the build. And that's getting the, the neck tenon cut so that it fits nicely into the neck pocket, but it's also at the right angle so that the guitar will be able to be set up and played properly. I'm only going to get one chance at getting this right. So what I tend to do is rough out the bulk of the tenon on the bandsaw and then I've got a jig that the neck will fit into and the angle on the front of it is the exact angle that I need to be cutting these cheeks away at. Once I've done that I can then set the correct angle for the bottom of the tenon which will set the neck at the correct angle when it's finally glued together. There's a lot that can go wrong here. Um, I've got a little bit of an insurance policy though. I've deliberately left the neck pocket about 10 millimeters too long. So if we do make a mistake here, we've got a little bit of extra meat on the body to compensate for it. Okay, first step to the bandsaw. Okay, so that's roughed out and it's probably about four millimeters too fat. So next up, I'm gonna get it into my jig and then we'll get it onto the router table and remove that waste. So I'm just gonna run the bearing of this cutter along this edge here, which will trim that shoulder to the correct angle. The same on the other side. And then I'm gonna slowly work the router bit up and remove the waste on these cheeks until I'm somewhere near and then I'll hand fit it. So I've been backwards and forwards with that um, for a little while now, slowly but surely getting it somewhere near and it's, it's almost there, very very tight. So I just need to take a tiny little bit off the front edge I think and we'll be somewhere near. I'm going to take it out of its jig. And I'm probably just going to use a card scraper on these cheeks until we've got the fit that we need. So I've fiddled around with that for a little while with the card scraper. And we've got that to a, a nice snug fit now. Obviously it only goes in so far because I need to cut out the bottom piece of the tenon now. That's fairly close now. I'm just going to take um, take a variety of chisels and planes, etc., to the back of this tenon. Just get it fitted up a little bit nicer. I've kept this part of the body longer than it needs to be until I've got the neck progressed to a point where I can work out what needs to be where um, and now understand where that's going to be so the next job is to trim down this area of the neck pocket to the appropriate length.
So I've just marked that out, cut the bulk of the waste off with a saw, used a, a very sharp chisel to just pare down the bulk of the waste that was left remaining and then filed it and sanded it. That's really flat and level now. So the next job is to cut this tenon back to size and we can have a, a trial fit, see how it all fits together. So I'm just going to very quickly take that off on the bandsaw. Now because this is an angled tenon, we obviously need to have the same angle on the, on the butt here, thus it won't fit into the pocket properly. So the next job is I'm going to cut that angle on there and then I'm going to put a little radius onto the end of the tenon and then hopefully we should have something that fits pretty well. So I've been backwards and forwards with this neck joint now for a little while. Um, I've got it all cleaned up, got it fitting pretty nice. Um, there's, all, there's no gap at all where it meets the body, which is great. Um, it might need a little bit of tweaking once I've got the rest of the neck shaped, but we'll, we'll see how that breaks down. The neck joint is, is nice and tight, um, but not so tight that it's going to squeeze all the glue out when you put it together, which is really what you're aiming for. Well, that's it for this one. I'm starting to become aware that time is getting tight on this project, um, but it's Thursday tonight, so we're nearly at the weekend, and I intend to spend quite a lot of time this weekend moving this build forward. So thanks for watching. Um, the response to this series has been amazing, and I'm just really pleased that people are enjoying the build as much as they are. So if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and I'll be back with the next instalment as soon as possible. See you later. Bye-bye.